and good day. Today we're having a look at these. They're a Wee Light S05, and you can see I've got two of them here. One's a Snow White, and the other one is Minimalistic Grey. Now I've had uh, earlier version, which is the S03 uh, series, and these were great. So these ones should be a little bit better. At least I hope so. We'll have a quick look at the the boxes. I'll open them up, and uh, as always, have a look inside. So here we go. Uh, got it. Let's see what we got in here. Let's sit down at the bottom there, nothing. Oh, just an inspection, inspection number to say that it's been checked. Oh, just knocking something. Um, what have we got here? Oh, let's say a little tripod mount. So that's a bit of silica gel. USB charging cable. And the all important unit itself. Oh, wow. Now that is a big improvement on the old one, just on appearance. Look at that. Wow. Pretty impressive. So you can definitely see there's a lot more LEDs in here. So we'll be putting this to the test. I've got to obviously go and put it on charge, which I'll do in a few seconds. And uh, we'll see what happens and see whether it's worth the extra dough. Now, I was just thinking before I actually take this and put it onto charge and take the other one out of the box, let's press the button and see what happens. See if there's any charge in here. And there we go. We've got a wee light sign on. And we're running at, uh, was it 14%? 6,800 Kelvin. I've got no idea what any of this does yet. I haven't read the any instructions or anything. It looks pretty straightforward. Have a look on the other side. Oh yeah, we got uh, different uh, LEDs lit up. Ooh, <laughs> yes, they bounce. <laughs> so it should be a bit of fun on this. And um, we got uh, a little over a half on charge. So. That means this will be okay. I'm, I'm going to continue the test and open up the other box and uh, see what the colour of that one is. That's that's quite nice, that. I like that. Let's get this one open now. Um, again. There we go. And it's basically the same thing again. You already, you already know what's in the box. So I'll just put these things aside and... Uh, that's the instructions which we will look at shortly. And here we go, there's the grey. That's quite a nice grey too. Yeah, I feel good. Um, just so you can see the, the other one. So a little bit heavier. Definitely a lot more a lot more LEDs. We'll press it on, see if it starts. There we go, we light. Version 1. Okay. And that's on 7%, is it? 7% brightness, a little over half charge. Oh, there we go. Ha! No idea what it's doing. So I'll have to have a read of the instructions and uh, see what we can do. Six, eight thousand Kelvin. Okay. It looks like I'm going to have a bit of fun. Yeah, quite a few controls just by pressing the mode button not certain what that does and definitely oh there it is brightness oh wow that's uh yeah it's pretty bright nice clean white okay well, we'll turn this off i'm going to now go and have a bit of a read of the instructions and see if i can uh, figure out how to work these things this is everything that came in the box itself we've got the we like the so5 little cold shoe adapter usb uh, to type c and we've got uh, just a standard little um, manual over here with all the information you need. Now there is an app which will control this. It's the same app that you use on the uh, SO3 version and it's pretty impressive. Now we can control all four of the lights by turning on the on off button. You can select uh, like we've got light number D at the moment selected and we can change its color as you can see 
we can turn that particular light off if we so decide. We can turn C off. Same with B and A. You can control the lights individually, as you can see here. It's quite uh, a lot of fun. We've got a fairly mundane looking tray with a couple of glasses sitting on it. Yeah, not too bad. But what happens when we turn a key light on? Let's turn on A. Oh, we've got a bit of blue there. A little bit more interesting. Let's turn on B. Now that's starting to look a little nicer. We've also got a third one, so let's turn it on. We've now got a completely different looking tray. And we'll turn the fourth one on. Now the fourth one is actually going to be handheld and I'm going to take it over the top and that should give you an idea as to how you can actually transform a very plain looking shot into something rather interesting. So we're outside and we're having a bit of a play with the light. I'm just changing the, the colours give you an idea of what it uh, looks like. Oops. <laughs> it's a bit hard, I'm holding the camera with one hand and the phone with the other. But I think you get the idea. It works really well and you can get some very interesting effects indeed. Okay, we've got the app turned on now and we've just got one light only operating so we're going to go through all the different settings that are in here so you've got the idea as to what the unit can actually do and of course the brightness which is fairly simple so you can see we've got a 3000, 4000, 5000, 255, 6000 and a 7000 Kelvin setting so we'll go now to HSL, which is the one I've been playing with, which is you just swing that around to whatever you want. Or slide that back again. Again, you've got uh, volume, or light I should say, volume whether it's bright or not, uh, RGB. You've got, again, amazing control over all the stuff that's here. I won't play too much with it. We'll go back to um, XY coordinates. Again, you can just play with things and make all sorts of things happen. So we'll go to that, we'll go back, um, colour chips, as you can see here we've got various settings, you can select anything you like, they operate nicely, FX, flash, burst, flash lamp, blink, go to weld, SOS Candlelight Flame CCT Loop TV Fireworks Fireworks 2 Fireworks 3 Police Ambulance Fire truck RGB loop Romantic Club Club 2 Wave Red Wave Green Wave Blue Wave Cyan Wave Red Wave Yellow and you can adjust of course the speed so it's quite a, a lot of fun as I say <laughs> Let's get out of that. And that's basically all the controls. It's 
amazing what you can do with this little tiny key light. Now we're going to run through the manual controls on the back very quickly. One good thing about the SO5 Wii light is it remembers whatever the setting was you used last. At the moment we're on 6800 Kelvin and you can adjust that by the minus or the plus buttons. Go across we can change the hue and of course that's brightness so you can adjust it to whatever you want. Holding the button again we're jumping through back again change here so you can see we've got quite a bit of control tapping it again again with that's just simply brightness we'll leave it at that hold the mode down again we're now into the RGB setup um, let's increase red tap it again over to green over to blue up to the W, I assume that's white balance and Y, yellow OK, holding it down one more time we're jumping into the next screen, let's increase that back up to 100% and we're running so we will change that And again, you've got so many settings, it's quite amazing. Hold it down one more time. Now we're on the uh, FX, and you can see the FX over here that's activated. So we'll change the FX there. Let's uh, go to that one. And you can see the icon is changing as I tap it. So you can actually see what uh, effects you've actually got activated. There's no need for me to run through them all. Holding down the menu again, we're back to where we started. So that indicates you can use all the controls that are in the app, direct on the back of the Wii light itself. And this makes it a fantastic little key light. You don't need to have your mobile phone handy, but if you want to use your mobile phone with the app, you know, that's my preference. I quite like it, but sometimes you can't do it. Uh, you've got too many... Uh, apparatus uh, <laughs> using the same device so it's rather nice to know that you can manually control each of these lights to you know do whatever you want them to do without having to use a smartphone so that is a great little innovation now this one is uh, has to be set through the app itself whereas this one can be set either via manual the strip on the back here or using the app so you have a, a choice with this particular model a new one now my final thoughts on the SO5 uh, series by Wheelight they are impressive you could see from the videos that I've created with them you know take it outdoors at 6am uh, in the morning which is one and a half hours before daybreak and you can see just how good one of those lights only sitting on top of my Sony camera was. It illuminated the area very nice. There was very little noise showing up in the image, which indicates just how bright these lights are. And would I recommend them? You betcha. They're really good. Well, I think you've got the idea because I had the SO3 series earlier, the uh, Wii Light uh, again. I had two of them, so now I've got four of them. And they're all controlled via the same app. I mean, that makes it great. A lot of companies will make apps and then they become obsolete and then you've got to obviously get a new one, whereas Wii Light have decided to keep the one app which controls everything. And it makes it so much easier for you to set up a nice shot these are great. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. If you don't, eh, give it a thumbs down, whatever, it doesn't matter. Leave a comment. I'd appreciate that. And all the best. And I'll catch you on the very next video, no matter what it is. Take care till then. Bye.